fish. It was on everyone's menu this weekend, and last week, the Kong Shell Bay fish market was swarming with Belizeans trying to get their last-minute Good Friday fish. And even on the islands, restauranteurs were paying top dollar for fish, knowing that a flood of tourists and locals were heading their way. But one celebrated chef on San Pedro, Jenny Staines, made a harrowing discovery. Triggerfish, made to pass off as grouper, with the skin tag fastened on with glue. This is a trigger fish, and there's the patch on the opposite side of where it should be, and it's stick on, look at it, with crazy glue. This is unreal, people. By law, Phyllis was to carry this skin tag that identifies the fish, but Chef Jenny's vast experience with seafood prompted her to take a second look. And the Outreach and Project Director at Oceana Belize said it's not the first time they've heard of something like this. Um, it's a very in unfortunate incident, um, not only because it's fraudulent, but triggerfish is also a protected species. So it's actually illegal to capture triggerfish. Um, they're a very important species for the health of the coral reef system. Um, but unfortunately, we are aware that, you know, things like this have been happening for some time now. Um, that's actually where the Fish Right, Eat Right program and the vision for the program came about, working with partners like the WCS and the Fisheries Department, and of course, chefs like Chef Jenny Staines and Chef Sean Quillen, to really work with people that are purchasing thin fish on a larger scale, like the restaurateurs out on the islands, um, and educate them on what the regulations are and what the things that they should be looking out for when purchasing thin fish, like the two-inch skin tag that should be on all filly um, fish by law, no? And Chef Jenny was also surprised to find another prohibited fish in her kitchen, parrotfish. She speculated that due to the high demand for fish, coupled with the scarcity of the once abundant resource, that some fishers are killing anything. And that's why Oceana Belize is advising consumers to inspect what they're buying. It's definitely important for not only the purchasers and the fishers, but also the end consumers to, to ask questions about where their fish is being caught. Um, we know that especially, you know, with the Easter weekend that we that just passed, we, we know a lot of fish is being bought and sold. Um, so now more than ever, it's really important for the end consumers to be vigilant um, so that we can avoid situations like this where you know, fish fraud is happening. I think it's important um, as part of Fisher right, Eat Right, we do education one-on-one -on -one as well as workshops with not just, you know, the, the fishers or restaurateurs, but the general public. Um, we have some ads currently running that feature Chef Sean Quillen um, actually showing you, you know, some incidences of people going out to Conk Shell Bay and, you know, Nurse Shark is there. I think more and more, especially with tourism um, increasing now. I think more people are becoming more cognizant of what where their food comes from and wanting to ensure that it's being sourced responsibly. And the Fish Right Eat Right website can also fill you in on what species are prohibited, like angelfish, marine turtles, and dolphins, and how to identify what you're buying. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.